Hello everyone! Ah, what a beautiful sunny day! Our sun is a wonderful thing after all. It's the reason life appeared on Earth and it's the reason we're still here. If it were not for this astronomical object burning 150 million kilometers away from us, neither Tony, nor me, nor you, our beloved viewers, would be here. However, you know that nothing lasts forever. Neither does the sun. Someday it will cease to exist. And today, I'm going to tell you when and how that will happen and what will happen to our planet. Let's start. First, let's study our sun. It is a star, about 5 billion years old, with a diameter of almost a million and a half kilometers. By comparison, the diameter of the Earth is just under 13,000 kilometers. Inside the Sun occur thermonuclear reactions involving hydrogen, which release an enormous amount of energy, which provides life on our planet. By the way, inside the Sun, the temperature reaches 15 million degrees Celsius or 27 million degrees Fahrenheit, but on the surface, it's only 6,000 degrees Celsius or 11,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Pfft, that's nothing, right Tony? So, what will happen to our celestial friend in the future? In the near future, everything will be fine, don't worry. But in about 1 billion years, the luminosity of the sun will increase by 11%, causing a strong greenhouse effect on Earth, or, in other words, an increase in temperature. If humanity still exists by then, we will probably be living underground or somewhere in the depths of the ocean. Moving on, the fuel reserves inside the sun are not infinite. Gradually, the amount of hydrogen will decrease, but the temperature and luminosity of the sun will increase. In three and a half billion years, it will become 40% brighter, and the conditions for life on our planet will be extreme, to say the least. The outer diameter of the star will increase and the core will shrink. In six and a half billion years, the hydrogen in the core will almost run out. The sun will be one and a half times bigger and twice as bright. In about 8 billion years, the sun will get so hot that a thermonuclear reaction will start in the outer shells and stop in the core. The star will reach the size of Earth's orbit and become a red giant. Will the Earth perish at this stage? Will it be swallowed up by the sun? It's hard to say for sure. Perhaps it will. But by that point, the star will have lost some of its mass, which means its gravitational force will have weakened. So, there is a possibility that the Earth will move away from the Sun to a farther orbit. Although, even if the Earth isn't swallowed by the Sun, everything from its surface will be pulled off, both the atmosphere and the oceans. The planet will become lifeless, and it is more likely that the Sun will manage to absorb it. In other words, the Earth, in any case, will die in 8 billion years or a little earlier. For another few hundred million years, the Sun will burn off its remaining fuel, and when the core temperature reaches its peak of 100 million on the Kelvin scale, helium bursts will begin. Eventually, the shell of our star will be torn off, and a very bright white dwarf, no bigger than the Earth, will form inside. Those of you who have already studied how stars die in the universe may wonder, why, as the sun shrinks, doesn't it explode as a supernova? It's very simple. Its mass just isn't enough. It will become a white dwarf, whose luminosity and temperature are about 10,000 times less than those of our sun today. And further on, it will only cool down more and go out. Accordingly, along with the disappearance of the sun, life in the solar system will also disappear, forever and irrevocably. <laughs> Now, now, Tony, don't worry too much. The end of the sun is inevitable, but this won't happen very soon. The apocalypse on our planet will come much earlier, but for completely different reasons. By the way, we have already analyzed all the possible scenarios of the end of the world. The link to that video will appear here on the screen right now, and you can also find it in the description below. Well, tell us in the comments if you are interested in the space and what you would like to know. We might make a video about it. Meanwhile, we're going to work on a new episode of Super Tony. Bye-bye.